What is up, everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing another Brutal Age video. This is on the Elite Rank matches. It's also featuring the newest Elite Rank matches called the Brawl matches. This first one is from Server 384, Kronos Max. Had a couple of really good uh, battles from Kronos. I think I got two of them in this video. This right here is kind of like the mirror match. He has exactly the same partners as the other side. Kind of. Um, Kind of daring to, to to win. I don't know. You can't really check the other side, so you don't know exactly what they have. But uh, I believe they're pretty much all the same level. <laughs> you using using the using Mr. Daggers as a lead. I don't know how many people out there use Daggers as a lead. All three colors on Mr. Daggers are actually really good leaders. The uh, the the blue actually has the weakest lead skill of the. He increases the critical rate for the whole team and uh, and check this out down to just blue nomad on Kronos side and he Here's where the brawl part comes in a little bit and you see him get two back-to-back -back, uh, attacks in the brawl match at the end of every attack there's a percentage chance that they'll get another attack and At the end of that Attack they have another percentage chance so you can get several attacks in a row pretty interesting now from 287, my very first server, this is Vin and Val, and from 287 we have tons and tons of experience, these guys are all good. And you, you, this is one of the blue super teams, you'll see it a lot, um, this is a variation of um, what, what was dominating actually last rank match. And this is this particular uh, group, two, two nomads, uh, blue colonel, and then the blue bait. One of the variations would be adding a third nomad, getting rid of Bape, or adding adding Cha Cha, and I think uh, I'll show each one of those. Th these, I want to show all the different variations. This is a really popular team. If you're not using it, you're gonna have to try to defend against it if you're gonna be up there in the top hundred, because you'll see a lot of them up there in the top hundred. A lot of stun teams out. Actually, the the teams that I'm running right now are pretty much stun teams too on my main account. Uh, and that really just comes down to the first hit. If you get the first hit, and of course everyone has speed, so you're trying to ha have the fastest uh, start. And if you get the first, if you get the first lick in yourself, and you're able to stun the team, a lot of times that that's all it takes. That one first hit. And you can see blue is actually under restraint on on green, but it, it doesn't really matter because. How powerful Nomad is just took out the Desert Prince one of the, one of the most popular partners right now and uh, The bad guys have have green Saya and She has the uh, rejuvenate so she can bring someone back, but she goes down pretty quick and Last up The green catfish one of my favorite partners really now don't forget if you're not using artifacts on every single one of your big partners, you're really missing out on a big part of the game. They are they are huge factors, and for the first time ever, this was during the blessing event. Finally, landed on the top left corner. So what this did is it allowed me to choose between Cha Cha or Bape, and so I sat there and contemplated and contemplated, and I decided to go with Bape because uh, just. The, the style that I have that I, I, I want to include Bape in it and uh, I was I was psyched because I, I was finally gonna get Bape I, I won't tell you how much I spent trying to get him originally and then the feeling you get when you get the green Bape <laughs> just not quite the same as blue and then I regret even getting Bape I should have got Cha Cha I don't know what the hell I was thinking Up next from server 323, the legend is in act, clan act, excellent player. With another big blue team, this is three nomads and blue colonel. Only one of these three a third awakened as far as the, the nomads, but these are all level 40, really powerful, powerful nomads, and, and all of them with artifacts on them. And Nomad, his na his natural skill is that I believe he recovers 15% of his max hit points. So you want to you want to get his health up as high as possible. Now, if you notice the opponent, 
the opponent has the Red Ursa team with uh, with Red Nomad, the Red Colonel, Red God of Earth, really powerful team. But uh, the Legend picks out a perfect uh, perfect match for him. So remember, make sure you're flexible picking your teams, and you want you want to pick teams that are going to restrain the other side as much as possible. Uh, this team, Red Ursa, had the artifact, uh, the book artifact, which is 150, cost 150 of the uh, advanced, uh, advanced pieces, whatever the hell they're called, I forget. <laughs> so that's 15 four-star partners. 15 four-stars to buy it. And then, uh, the God of Earth, Thera, had the Thera's necklace, which is another 15. So those are two pretty big artifacts for the opponent to have. Uh, this just kind of reaffirms that these artifacts are major major parts of these attacks uh, You'll see at the beginning of every single one of the of the battles That all of these partners all they're all ha they all have artifacts So if you're not using them or, or yours are at level two or three try to try to focus on that um, you, you, you turn some of your three stars into into the basic um, artifact pieces and uh, I'll figure out the name of that before the end of the video. <laughs> As we take another look at Chronos Max from from 384, just wanted to, to kind of hit another topic real quick. We have a ton of good players in 384, a, a lot of good players. Problem is, is that there's a constant state of war, and it, it's uh, it's really evident when you look at the server overall. Uh, there's so much more more problems with the constant war than there is success we don't succeed in in server war uh i i couldn't even get uh, the guys to cooperate with me for long enough to get a replay from the other from the other clans so it's it's really important for your your server to get along well enough to cooperate for server war it's it's being in a constant state of war is definitely detri detrimental and i would suggest against it so just wanted to kind of hit that so, Kronos, using daggers, again, as the leader, with that, that critical rate lead skill. He's got the, got the two nomads, call them the Bash, Bash Brothers. They are just incredibly strong. Make sure you use the right war patterns with them. Red, you almost always want to use Ian war pattern because he has the retaliation. And blue, you can use a couple of different options. I've seen Cat with them. I've seen Hippo and Whale. You, you really want to get his health up as high as possible because he is going to heal himself at the end of every round or beginning of every round. Uh, based on his max health, so you want to get his health up as high as possible So moving on to big easy actually maybe easy in 384 Did get the the green blind priest Blind judge no blind priest <laughs> Probably one of the most powerful partners that I've had uh, Awesome leader skill probably kind of like the blue black shaman plus plus now this guy he attacks over and over. I think I showed three of them. He brings the whole motto first You don't succeed try and try again You know th there is a point where if you can't win, I mean he's getting blown away But he keeps on trying uh, you got to hand it to him But uh, now what I did want to show you in these in these qu real quick series uh, I think it's three attempts is on defense make sure you split up your team and, and try to use all three colors and what I've done is I have speed for the leader with the with the with the blind judge and then I have two stun partners with the uh, blue black shaman and the red uh, God of Earth and then I have the self heal and group buff for the demon killer so it's a really po potent uh, team on defense just don't make the critical mistake of having four blues because that's your best four partners because they they will just restrain the blues with green or whatever color is the opposite of whatever you're using. Try to split that up and make it make it hard for them to restrain you. And, and also remember, there's a bunch of partners you can earn. Really go after all the partners you can earn. You can get in, in the old bald smithy, you can get the demon killer, you can get all these ones right here shown. It's going to go by kind of quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> Going back to 287, this, this super powerful server, we have Lottie Dotty, and he's gonna he's gonna give us a, a great look at the I, I I guess it's called Ice Lord, it's spelt different, but or Icy Lord. Uh, now he's another speed based partner, but he also kind of mixes freeze in with everything, even though he is wearing shirt a uh, shorts and, and no shirt, and he's a freeze partner, but he's not dressed appropriately, so I don't I don't get that. But other than that, <laughs> he you get him from the 
fire frost or frost fire the one I say wrong every time and um, for the low low cost of I believe it's 1200 uh, 1200 of the coins that you get from the fire frost event itself so far I think I was able to save up like 200 total so far <laughs> but um another great lead skill 30% speed so that's a lot more than the blue black shaman that's uh, that, I think it's about the same as your Ursa but I believe he gives it uh, the speed to all partners but I don't know that for a fact although Lottie comes in with four four greens including the Prince probably one of the most popular partners right now and he's tailor-made to knock out the the blue nomad which you know if you give nomad one weakness I think being knocked out is probably his weakness especially once he starts getting double teamed by uh, two different uh, stun partners like the uh, like red god of earth and the desert prince he's just constantly spinning the whole time so a gr great partner to use against the powerful blue nomad and you also see that they have green chacha uh, another dangerous partner, but she does have when she first came out I think that we thought she was going to take over the whole game uh, Because of her ability where she can steal life from her own players every time she dies She steals a little bit of life from her own players and she comes right back to life. We watched um, Someone from our server splash kill 20 kill her 25 times and She still lived and they she ended up losing the match problem is now people have figured her out a little more and they can use a single target attacker to keep on attacking the Cha Cha Green, and that actually damages the entire team. So you can just chop away at one partner, and it'll actually kill the whole team. Imagine that. So, uh, another great example of how her strength is also her biggest weakness. Very common in the Brutal Age. So, moving up. To one of the top ranked matches this is project mayhem number 15 overall first number one he's from the 14k clan server 418 no idea how to say that sorry guys first first uh, first place match we're gonna have kind of similar teams mayhem's bringing the red Ursa team he also has the fortune teller which is not a real name and two desert prints yeah um, he been fighting with the two desert prince now for I don't know three weeks a month and just dominates with these two desert prince I, I would suspect you'll see mayhem sitting in the probably number one seat in the next couple weeks um, meanwhile if you watch over on the right hand side of the screen watch how many times tusk and babe heal between their skill and the artifacts, they are just constantly healing, healing, healing. So if your partners aren't doing enough damage, they just oh, they out heal them. Like right there, um, I believe there was 2,000 damage done, but then he healed 2,600. So that time, Red Ars actually damaged him a little more. So it's really tough to to actually knock down <laughs> Tusk, and then you have. Uh, Blue Babe just did the en Enduring Healing, so that's healing over several rounds. So, really tough team. I thought this match was going to take about two hours. I don't even know how long it really takes. <laughs> how would I have ever known that Red Ursa would be such a dominating partner? Um, I've had Blue Ursa for a long time. I've just now started to use her as a 6-star Third Awakening partner. and I, I, I like her too. So, I want to give a special thanks to Project Mayhem. He's one of the people on 323 that is constantly. I have to ask him so many questions a day. He probably dreads seeing my name on the chat. <laughs> so, also, something to think about. I've, I have the Third Awakened uh, 6 star on the Red Tree Man. Looking for the perfect. I, I, want, to, I want one of those attacks where he does 250,000 damage to the whole team. We have it on the channel about a couple months ago if you want to go back and look. So looking for the perfect team and I'm thinking that the two, two Desert Prince and Red Guard Earth might be that team. I don't know. So last match of the video had so many good matches it was hard to pick. But here's another number one matchup between Lottie Dottie and Lahara. Lahara's number one. 
with that with really no surprise with the two red Ursa sitting in first place and if you noticed uh, Lottie Daddy completely changed his team to accommodate the with the red team so don't get stuck on your favorite partners make sure you switch up and, and use the restraining team I'm, st I'm still amazed at how good Red Ursa is. She doesn't look like she does that much damage. She does two or three thousand damage each time she hits, up to four thousand. But she does get four attacks in, and so just solid hits every single time. And with blue, I, I don't know if red heals, but blue heals at the same time. But Lady Dottie brings in the big boys, has two maxed out blue nomads, and with good artifacts. And they're just still at the top top of brutal age. Um, they 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 manage to, to to make it to the very top of ranked matches every almost every single event. So if you have them, if you have two of them, upgrade them both. Don't 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 feed the first two right to uh, you know, don't feed the second one right to the first one right away. So use two use two blue nomads if you have them. And if you notice the 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 red uh, the red desert prince is constantly uh, KOing this team, but just look at how the health they are the, the health is coming back the health is coming back they're really hard to kill their hit points are probably right around a million. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of long, but there was a lot of good matches. If if you've noticed the kind of the focus point has been on this on this the power of the blue team. There is a ton of, of good combinations. Most of them have a couple nomads in it, but you have a lot of strong partners out there on the blue side. So keep that in mind when you're building your team for ranked matches. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. So till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.